Hey, we go back again with another video and that's the roundabout I'm looking to do a stealth camp on tonight oh, That roundabout's really busy at the moment. It's seven o'clock. I'll show you some footage now of the roundabout itself It's gonna be really difficult to get on it to be honest so There we go folks. That's the roundabout I'm looking to camp on tonight The sunny gorgeous night 20 degrees. But it's busy it's the busiest roundabout in Durham, bottom of Giles Gate Bank, top of Clearpath, as you can see, coming up Clearpath, loads of traffic, loads coming off the 690, 690 there, it's busy coming down, coming up from Durham, it's non-stop at this moment in time, and it's 7 o'clock, coming down Giles Gate Bank, plenty of cars, so to get a break in this traffic, I may have to wait another half an hour. 690 traffic's quite busy still. There's a 690 coming down there. Lots of traffic, constant traffic. And the roundabout is literally just there. As you can see this moment in time, the traffic is just non-stop. I need to get on there somehow, but it's impossible. I need to approach it from this side, when this side cool, cools down a bit, slows down a bit, approach it from this side to get to the middle, the top left, then sort of duck down before they see us coming down Giles Gate Bank. Super difficult because the 690 is really busy as well. Nice paint of hand, you're going to calm the nerves. Right, changed my hat, took my coat off, getting prepared to get over there. It's starting to slacken off a little bit, but I'm feeling really nervous at this moment in time. I've got a lot of stuff to take over. Heading up towards the roundabout now. I'm parked really close to the roundabout, so I haven't got my stuff to pack, carry my big backpack and my bouncy up pop-up tent. I've got all that to carry literally 100 yards, which is absolutely fantastic. The two-prong attack. I have to get onto the roundabout without being seen and then hide until the traffic empties coming down Giles Gate Bank then get into that small quadrant of bush without being seen so I've got to do this in phases I can't just get on there and just jump in the bushes because if there's loads of traffic coming down there Giles Gate Bank all of them will see is what I'm doing and they'll phone the police and say there's some daft lad some absolute cracker jack just jumped in the bushes on the roundabout with a load of camping gear but no idea what he's up to this has to be super stealthy. Perfect timing. I won't make it across without being spotted. And it's obvious what am I doing. Obvious what's going on. Look at the state of that man. How am I supposed to get on that roundabout with all them watching us? Flipping hell. I've got a sweat on thinking about this. But, hey, when I get on there and I get in there, I have no idea what's in the bush. Whether I can put a tent up there, whether I can stay there all night, we're just praying a bite, are you? We're taking it every step, at, one step at a time on this stealth camp. I haven't been this nervous for years. Last time I was this nervous, I was favourite for a race. Athletics used to get me really nervous. Right. Let's go and get the backpack on, all my equipment, and try and get over there without looking too obvious what's going on. Got all the gear in the car. I've actually been out and bought a pop-up tent. This should be fun. Never used one of those before, but I need something really quick and easy to put up because I haven't got much time at all. Unbelievable. There's a guy there with a sleeping bag Waiting right next to the roundabout. <sighs> right, I'm waiting now till that lad buggers off. He's standing there with a sleeping bag, can in his hand. I don't know what he's been up to, or he's not going to try and pinch my stealth camping spot, surely. It's still really busy. What time is it? Eight o'clock, eight o'clock. I need to make a move at any minute now. <sighs> I've got a sweat on. Went for a little bit of a run to calm the nerves. I had a pint first though, which is a bit silly, but never mind. I can't really walk around there with him there. 
Oh, this is just getting from bad to worse. This is ridiculous, this. I, I come down here on Monday, bank holiday on Monday, literally coming back from our lasses, it was about six o'clock, and there wasn't any cars about. It's bank holiday Monday for you. And then today, it's a Thursday. It's just endless traffic, endless traffic. I'm gonna stand here and pretend I'm waiting for the bus. There's the bus stop just there. Because it's just too busy at the moment. I'll try and head up straight there. I mean, they're sitting. I mean, look at them, him there on the roundabout. Look. He's just sitting there watching us. Look at the cars coming up here. Absolutely crazy. I'll pretend I'm waiting for a bus. Nothing to see here. It's the daft lad waiting for a bus. Daft lad waiting for a bus. Look at all them cars there. I'm going to have to just go for it. Just go for it. Just get on the roundabout. You can see what I can see. You can see what I can see. I want no cars turning right. If a car turns right, I've got to wait again. They're going straight down, they're going straight down. Now he's waiting, he's waiting, shit. Nothing coming up as well, which is good. Hardly anything coming up. He's just fucking waiting there. Twat! Out of all them cars coming down there, about 21 waits. I may have a chance here, an opportunity. Lights don't turn red, don't turn red yet, don't turn red yet. Get the tractor through. The tractor through. Come on, get through, get through, get through. He's through. A lot of cars waiting there. Go, go, go. No traffic coming this way. It's okay. Get across. Nothing to see here. A daft lad. Getting under the roundabout. As quick as possible. Jazz gear bank looks quite good as well. Fucking one person. A jazz gear bank. Fuck, I hope they didn't see us. I hope they didn't see me over there. Fuck, it's really getting overgrown in here. I don't know if you've seen. Get this back off me. Back, see it carrying it. I don't think there's any space for a tent. I have to clear some space here. Unbelievable. There's Jazz Gate back there. People walking round. I hope that person didn't see me. If they saw me just jumping here with a load of camping equipment, they know what's going on. They probably could have phoned the police. Loads of students kicking about as well. Cars going around, around about. Going about the business. Hopefully, nobody cares. Nobody cares. I think one person could have, could have, tell you what, there was loads of cars coming up there and around there. I think one person could have saw us running on the roundabout. And then one person, if they were looking, would have seen us jump in the bush. And must have been thinking, what the hell is he doing? Absolute daft lad. Now I'm in here. I've got to create some space because there's, there's leaves and stuff all over the place. So I'll bring you back in a minute. I've created some space, as you can see. People do walk the dogs on the roundabout. I've seen a few people come over here on the other occasion, but luckily that's grown a lot in the spring. Not too bad. And I bought a little seat for myself for five pounds from Go Outdoors, a Euro hike seat. I'm gonna sit here and chill with a can of Trisky Polish Lager. Well, I, I de stress. That was one of the hardest things I've had to do in recent history. I know people will be laughing on there, but literally the cars are non-stop. It is now about quarter past eight, half past eight, and it's literally still light. The cars are non-stop. I'm sweating, I should have left my cap on. People walking over there, loads of students, loads of families going for dinners and meals in Durham. I managed to park really close outside the travel lodge. There's a big tanker going past. 
I think I'm quite covered here. I have got, I think, enough space to put the pop-up tent up. Just, there's a lot of old tree lying around. I've cleared away some old tree. There's lots, a thick bush going around the outside to about a meter in. But then I've got maybe possibly just enough for this tent. Then, I don't know if the tent were being blue. <laughs> it's, not, it's not very stealthy, but that's all I had. Cheers, everybody. <coughs> that's not stealthy. I'll sit and chill before I put a floor mat down and try and get the pop-up tent up and then get in the tent. I've got some food to cook. I've got, you know, we'll, we'll, we, we will talk some stuff, of course. That's what you do in these, on these videos. It is 20 degrees. It is warm. I was going to come down and just have a tarp and a sleeping bag. But then I thought, I don't fancy getting lots of ticks and stuff on us during the night. So I bought a hen. I bought one of these, these nets, mosquito nets. That's in my bag. But then I thought, why not just go and buy a pop-up tent for 25 quid, a no-brainer, a no-brainer. Absolutely. There's no, I can't see any, any rats or anything. There's some bits of pieces of paper that's blown over here, but nobody really comes on the roundabout apart from people who are crossing over it. Maybe he's drunks on the night time. They might come for a piss in the bush. I hope not. Or dog walkers, like I say. Right, I'm gonna sit and chill for a bit, have me can. I'll catch you in a bit. I'm just sitting chilling for a bit. It's just extra busy. There's loads of people walking around the roundabout. I noticed when I was going around the roundabout, you can see straight through these bushes. I've got to be careful. I'm in grey and black, so it blends in. Got a green bag. Got a bluish tent. I'll show you. I put the tent up. There's cars just constantly driving around. People walking around, getting to buy about the business. It's been half an hour now, no police have turned up. I should be okay, I know I'm shouting, but... Most people going round and roundabout don't even look at the bush, do they, really? Unless, like, it's me. I look in the bush when I go around to see if I, I, I can get in and do a stealth camp. I'm enjoying my first can. I had a pint up there. Little Sicily. Little Sicily. Lovely food in their mind. Travel Lodge. I managed to park the car outside there free between 8, 6 p.m. to 8 in the morning. So that's spot on. I think I'm set now. If I need to go to the toilet, I think there's toilets down in the pub, the Woodman. I can pop to the Woodman for a pint. I had, I went to the toilet before I came out, so hopefully I'm okay in the morning. Start the de-stress. That was the most stress. When I was younger, I did do a lot of running, a lot of racing, athletics. I used to win a lot of races. I'm not blowing my trumpet, just the way it was. I'm good at some things, I'm shite at other things. I'm shy, I was shite at playing football, shite at rugby. I was good at athletics. I ran for England a couple of times, a couple of England vests. And this is the most nervous I've been since I did them races. But now I'm starting to relax and calm down. Cheers, everybody. If you're watching the video, if you're getting this far, please subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. The, the channel's called Mads Out and About, 
It's about anything outdoors. I love the outdoors. I do love the outdoors. And I'll tell you why I look, I like stealth camping and how I got into stealth camping later on in the video when the tent's up and I'm cooking some food. Cheers. Pop up tent. Let's hope there's enough space. <laughs> this is not going to go to plan. I know this is not going to go to plan. Keep holding for the time being. Got a floor mat down. Turn it round. Sorted. Yes. Folks, that's just a perfect fit. A perfect fit. Sorted. Fits like a glove. Come on. It's just, just starting to get a little bit dark now. Feeling confident now we can succeed with this stealth cam. Time to unpack me shite and I'll show you what I've got. In my first stealth camp, I've got some garlic bread I cooked earlier on, some Don Mio carbonara, some pasta, I've got some bottles of water, I've got some Trixy, Trix, Trisky, Trisky Polish beer. Right, I might start cooking some food. It is now five to nine, so I better get a, a move on. As you can see, it's starting to get a bit dark. My seat's there. Red Cliffs Outdoor Gear. To be fair, it's a pretty good tent. I mean, I don't think you're really supposed to be sleeping in bushes with loads of blooming twigs and branches and all sorts sticking out everywhere. So I think it's a pretty good tent. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. I tried it earlier in the garden and it was really good. Got a fly net so you can leave the main door open, a bit of fresh air come through, ventilation. For 25 quid, if you want to go and camp somewhere, you know, that's a little bit more sort of secure a little bit better than this place, then I think it's a Brucey bonus, 25 quid. Yes, I've got this little gas stove here I bought during lockdown, just in case, you know, the electricity went off during lockdown and you had to, you know, have some sort, some sort of facility for cooking. So I've got this from the local hardware DIY store. More ambulances going past than police. So I'm gonna make some pasta. Got the pan there. I said five pound from the range. I'm going to boil me pasta and add boil for a little bit turn the gas up a little bit give it a stir on this busy roundabout starting to boil pasta fabulous 10 minutes from now when it should be ready. Well, 
I'm stirring my pasta. I have another can. I've got the light on this, so hopefully nobody will see the light on in the bush. Hopefully no one's taken notice of the roundabout, to be fair. Cheers, everybody. One or two things I want to see. I've got five minutes while this pasta is boiling. Is that people are saying, why am I doing stealth camping? Well, obviously, you who are watching this, you watch Blot Outdoors. Chris, absolutely fantastic YouTube. I've known Chris since he had less than 500 subscribers. I remember, I have another, I've got another channel called The Mad Mistake. So I'm a Sunderland fan. I do Sunderland vlogs. I do Sunderland live streams for football games. Chris used to pop on every now and again. I'm not, I'm not name dropping. And I went and looked at his channel and he used to always go camping in the lakes and I love the lakes. I love it outdoors. As you know, Mad's out and about. I love being out and about. And I thought his videos were great. And I used to watch also Steve Wallace. I watched his channel because I like camping. And I used to watch him do his stealth camping. I didn't really get it, to be fair. I didn't really get it, stealth camping. I just thought of Canadian, sort that sort of thing. And I was like, I was interested and I quite enjoyed it. And then obviously Chris Blot started to do stealth camping and it got me, it got me hooked, got me absolutely hooked. Cause we all know, you know, I know. I, I've messaged Chris a few times, you know, cause we're both Sunderland fans. He's a top lad. Him and his friends who work at CM, you know, Chris is obviously retired now, went into full-time YouTube. And, and I, I, I was sort of, like, you are transfixed. And like, just really, he made, Chris, Chris made stealth camp and fun. I was intrigued with Steve Wallace about what he was doing and how, how, how the quality of his camping was great. His knowledge of camping was fantastic, but Chris made it fun. And I thought, I would love to do that, because I used to love camping, but I would never have time. I would never have time. But with this season, Sunderland haven't been so good, and the videos have tapered off a bit, I thought, right, why not? Let's give it a go. It seems exciting, it seems fun. So it seems really good fun. So I thought I'd give it a go, and I've tried it. Now, I won't always do this, because I do like my videos with Kino. But at the same time, I like doing anything outdoors and risky and fun and, and get the nerves going. I, I really enjoyed it. And I enjoyed the first two. This one, I seem to be more in the zone. I, I planned and prepared for this one a lot more. And with this, with this pop-up tent, it's, it's actually, you know, really, I'm really enjoying it. It's fantastic. I'm looking forward to a good night's sleep. <laughs> If you've gotten this far so far and you're enjoying the content with us, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Please subscribe. Right, my tea's almost done. I'm going to show you. Proper shouting on then, mind. Proper shouting on. I think they were having a domestic, proper screaming on, as they've been to the pub. But yeah, right, I want to get back in the tent and show you what I've got for tea. Last is almost done. Now time to stir in the carbonara sauce. Carbonara sauce. Oops. There we go. Carbonara. Mm. 
Spot on. Cheers, everybody. Time right now. It's 20 past nine. 20 past nine. There you go. Better, better view of the ugly mug. I might close the net. Absolutely superb, this. I had massive doubts I was able to pull this off. As long as no one sees these lights, people looking into the, into the roundabout, seeing the light, I think it's spooky. The only people for me will see me now, is dog walkers crossing over, drunk young'uns running up from down towards Giles Gate. I watch all sorts of channels on YouTube. Apart from the Blood Outdoors and the two Chris's, I watch obviously Steve Wallace, Urban Rats. I find him really funny. He's a funny bloke. I'm not very funny, but he's a funny bloke. Even the Idiot, is it Idiot Outdoors? There's a few of them. I like watching them all. I, I don't know why. I don't know. Kano says, why do people watch stealth camping? It's boring as fuck. Everyone does the same thing. I don't know. You tell me. Why do you watch stealth camping? Why? We'll go and see some more traffic in a bit. It, the, the roundabout's busy. There's cars flying past all the time. It's never ending. It's never ending traffic. Unbelievable. I don't think. And this is what I find really good. I must be the first person to be camping out in this roundabout. Ever. That's the way. I, that's just the way I think about it. I remember coming down here as a kid. When I say a kid, 20 year old, 19, 20. We made it to the jazz gate, we go down down, get on the piss, have a laugh, have a dance. As you do when you're single, meet the girls, you go home. We used to walk up here. We didn't get a taxi, we walked up here. We even crossed over this roundabout at times. So I can imagine people coming over this roundabout tonight. And to be fair, it's pitch black soon. No one will see this this tent, this pop-up tent in, the, in this roundabout. Mm. Lovely this. This bigger. That's a good nine out of ten. There's the bus coming down the twenty-two. 22 Durham from Sunderland. And a big lorry coming through. Let's get closer to the, the traffic on that side, should we? Should we not? Let's open another can. What's happening here? There's some cars there. I feel like I'm 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 quite covered here because I've got darkness in my favour. Bit of darkness in my favour. A bit of darkness in my favour. I better open another can. Just being for Jimmy Riddle, so I'm okay. I don't know if they can see me. They're looking directly at me. I'm not sure if they can see us. I think I'm being quite stealthy. I think I am. We have people walking. As you can see. Coming back from the club. Dancing. Some more bushes there, so I get, so I get closer. Walk up a can. There's a lot of flipping lorries. A lot of lorries kicking about eight and eight. People on the roundabout. Probably students or, or, or people going for a drink down Durham. And now they're going to the travel lodge where they're stopping for the night. This roundabout's never ending with traffic. Oh, I'm sure they're watching me over there. They're saying who? Look, there's some idiot, some daft lad in the bush. There's a daft lad in the bush with a camera. I'm hiding in the bush. Watch them go past in a minute. There they go, there they go. They're not looking in the roundabout. They don't give a shit, are they? They're getting on with their life. There you go. Enjoy your life, lads and lasses. Enjoy it. 
He's got red trousers. Red trousers? That's a strange combination. Red trousers and a grey top. Ooh, I've never seen that before. Good luck to him. Fashion statement. Oh shit, there's a place over there. Oh fuck. Over there. Is that the bobbies? Better turn the camera off. There's Durham Cathedral. Right there. That's where I had to run across earlier on. Lots of traffic coming up from, from, from Durham. At a way to that, that almost went red. Nobody came there. I don't know if they can see me or what, but they are. They must think, fucking hell, there's a man with a camera in the bushes staring at us. Weird as feck. But luckily there was no one there and I ran over there. I don't know if you can see, can you see? Luckily, hopefully I'm blending in with the bush. I am one with the bush. I am one with the bush. Me and the bush are one. Peace. Peace out. There we go. Let's walk around more of the bush. With a can. Whoop. Who's this? Guys. More people over there. What they're doing. I hope they're not looking at me. They're saying, look, there's a creep. There's a creep in the trees. Stare at us. Get me out of here. <laughs> I'm a celebrity, not. Go, 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 go. Not in service. Don't you hear it? When the bus goes past, there's a cathedral, you can see it. Don't you hear it when the bus goes past and it says, not in service. What a fucking liberty. It is taking the piss. Not in service. Absolute piss take. Right, let's go further round. There we go, them lights are on me. They were shining on me. Let it shine. Let it shine. Hey, hey. Oh, <coughs> that is my camp there. My camp is in there. Uh, As you can see, there's plenty of traffic going around. And your camp's in there. You can't see it, look, you can't see nothing at all, can you? Nothing's. Uh, there's people over there. It's, uh, people watch. Who likes, who likes people? Who sits in, in restaurants, in cafes, and watch people? Who does that? Who likes to watch people? There's people, and I'm watching them. But there you go. That bush was too small. The bush behind me was too. That's the only bush you can camp on in this in this roundabout. And there's just, just cars and non-stop. There's some more people. Been to the pub. Been on the piss. Now they're either going back to the the travel lodge or the university. Oh fuck you! Go on, son lad. He's a weird looking boy racer. Right. I'm leaning against this fucking tree. Having a good. I'll probably fall, fall asleep here. People getting back their lives. Look through any window, yeah. What do you see? Smiling faces all around. Rushing through the busy town. Where do they go? Moving on their way. Walking down the highway, make it my way. Where do they go? Moving on their way. Walking through the highway, make it my way. How do they know? You can see the little people walking down. I <laughs> oh. Oh, I'll tell you what it is. You might think I'm a daft lad. I'm living the dream. <laughs> oh, shit. Right, I'm walking around the bush. I'm going to sit here. Quick me. You can't see us, obviously, it's too dark. But I've got a can in my hand. Nice can of Rooney. I'm going to have a sit down. Yeah, 
and stare up the 690 like absolute daft lad. Oh, what's this happening here? There's lights on us. Oh yeah, there's lights on because the 690 there's lights on us. Right, so that's where I'm sleeping in there tonight. I'm sleeping in there tonight. As you can see, it's non-stop traffic. People over there walking around. Nobody's crossed over the roundabout just yet. They do. They're in for a shock. There's a cathedral. I'll show you the cathedral. Let me stand up. There you go. That's the cathedral in the distance. Durham Cathedral. I'm here at Jazzgate Roundabout. Oh, let's get a bit closer. Come on. I'm closer now. Oh. He's, has he seen me? That is a fucking idiot in the bush. Is a creepy in the bush. People going about the business. Right, this daft lad sits on the roundabout drinking Polish alcohol singing songs eight days a week I love you oh shit eight days a week it's not enough to show I care ooh I need your love babe I guess you know it's true love me every day girl he's on the 40 saying 999 is a strange creep on the roundabout recording people as they walk past. Ooh, I need your love, babe. I guess you know it's true. Love me every day, girl. Just like I need you. Uh oh, hold me. Love me. Hold me. Love me. I ain't got nothing but love, girl. Eight days a week, eight days a week, I love you. Eight days a week is not enough to show I care. I've came out for one last check. I'm in them bushes there. I've got my lights on in there. You can't see any lights, which is good really stealthy i'm happy with that big i mean he could be sitting he could be having his, his lights on me there saying what the fuck's he doing sitting in the trees recording me i don't know i better stay still not move around still as nature and go past Tesco's, it's a Tesco's. Every little helps. So busy is this roundabout. Never ending. The traffic is just never ending. There is the Tesco's lobby. Tesco's lobby. As you can see. To be fair though, you can't see anything in that bush. So I did a recce, I've been round the roundabout, you've seen us, I've had a bit of a laugh, I am a bit of a daft lad, a daft lad, I'm a daft lad, these are daft people here look, they're probably not but you know at the end of the day, let's watch them, as you can do, they're, they're going to the, the travel lodge, they've been out on, on the town, Durham, let's face it, Durham is a lovely place, Durham is a wonderful place, and them people there, been round Durham, I hope they've had a good night, God bless, May God go with you and enjoy the rest of your life. I hope you're successful. I hope you get the lottery. I hope you do the Euros and win 160 million. That would make my day. So enjoy your life. You three people there, I'm going to make sure I'm going to give you the blessing. The Father and the Son, the Holy Ghost. Win the lottery. There's some cars. Some cars there. Right, I need to get back in my tent. As you can see, I've been out, you can't see Dibdy squat. Nothing in there. There's, there's a tent in there. Who would imagine there's a tent in there? Gotta be careful. There's people going about there. Look at 
you couldn't you couldn't imagine there was a tent in there. Oh. Time to get back in the tent. Never known so many lorries come down Giles Gate Bank. Size of the lorries. Oh, someone shouting on. Let's go and stalk them. I'm on the edge of the road. I, I'm probably in, in the line of fire here. I'm in the line of fire. People can see me. Oh, he stalled it. He stalled the wagon. He's coming round. Oh, a cumin. Let's see who was shouting. Literally, I'm on the edge here. People surely can see what I'm doing. There he is there. Look, he was shouting before. I'm going to hide on the air. What's he doing? He's stopping. There's a police. There's a police. What's he doing? Oh, is he dancing? Oh shit. He can see me. I'll, I'll be nice and still. He's with his mates. I'll be careful, I'll come over and probably keep me facing. If they see me recording them now, they'll probably run over the road, jump on us and beat the fuck out of us. So I've got to be stealthy. Oh, what's happened there? Oh shit, he's. He's had a few beers, hasn't he? Been on the pop. Been on the pop, he's jogging. Go on, lad. Get across, son. I'm happy. Oh, look at that. Happy backy. He's been on the happy backy. Where's he going? Up Jazz Gate Bank. Anyway, right, that's enough people watching. Enough people watching. Let's get back in the tent. Time for Betty Buys for me. Look at that. That's an awesome, awesome. There's the bus. The last bus to nowhere. Him there. Him there. Living his life. Look at him living his life. Waiting for the light. There, the light to change. There you go, son. Go on, son. Get yourself home. Get yourself to bed. See you later. Goodbye. There you go. On his bike. Get on your bike, son. On your bike, lad. Go on. Up the hill. That's it. In first gear. Second gear. Go on. Smash it, lad. You can do it. You can do it. You oh, are some awesome lad. Oh, there you go. Look at that. It's what you call power. Cars going about the busy days. 10 o'clock at night. Quarter past 10. And this roundabout's never in. Honest to God, will I get any sleep? I brought some earplugs and I will put them in. I will put them in. Unbelievable. Go on, lad. Rev it, rev it. There you go. White van man. White van man. Straight down. No bother whatsoever. Still busy. The roundabout's still busy. I've come off the roundabout to show you what, you know, the public can see when I'm on my stealth camp. I have the lights on in my tent. That's where I'm sleeping over there. I'm on the roundabout. I can't see anything on this side. One guy there. Let's get across. <laughs> I must have been seen, but I couldn't give a fuck. They're going about the daily duties. I'm going to bed. And we'll see us all in the morning. There's the old Eddie Stobart. Down up there, Stobart. Quick crossing the road there as well. It's just a busy, it's a busy roundabout. With busy, busy, busy roundabout. It's been non-stop all night. You know what it is? I'm either a sad or I just I find things really entertaining. Easy entertain, I'm easily pleased. I am easily pleased. Easily pleased. Good night, everybody. If you're getting this far so far, then you need to get a life. <laughs> See you later. All I'm worried about is that if I'm asleep and a car just drives over the roundabout, I'm knocking on there. Let's hope that doesn't happen. I'm red hot in here. It is absolutely boiling at night. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Hopefully, famous last words, like a log. Right, we'll see you in the morning. It's now 11 o'clock. Good night, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed the video so far. 
stealth camping on a roundabout. It isn't that bad to be fair. Half past four. It's busy out there, it's busy. Traffic. It's non-stop. I did get some sleep. I reckon a good three, four hours. Maybe five hours. Oh, from 11 all the way through now till four, so I'm gonna start packing stuff up and try and get off here before it gets really busy out there. Oh. Right, I'll bring you back when I'm all packed up, or close to being packed up. Oh, I'm tired, <laughs> I'm tired. So there we go. There's all me shite in the bag for last night. Get out before it gets too busy. Getting really busy already. Cars coming down Jazz Gate Bank. There we go. It's almost five o'clock, all packed up, ready to go. Car's not too far away. Roundabout starting to get quite busy already, to be fair. There's been cars coming round all night. I've gotten some sleep, which is canny. Got me shite. My bag of equipment in my tent. Leave no trace behind. Empty in there. Better get off here. coming round still. Let's make it across the road. Some ducks there. Some ducks. I think on the 690. I think coming down Giles Gate Bank. Nothing to see. Sorted. Successful stealth camp achieved with more sleep than I actually thought. So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed the video. All done. Head off towards the car now. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Oh, time to go home, get a bit of breakfast. Happy days. Can't believe I've actually done that. I can't believe I actually finished that stealth camp. I thought it was quite good, I quite enjoyed it. Just standing here pretending I'm waiting for the lift as I chat to you. That's where we slept last night. I even took away a little bit of extra rubbish that was kicking about. All quiet now. The odd bit of car going past. So there we go, off home now. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please subscribe. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up. <sighs> Can you good that leg? Like? I'm pleased I've done that. Out of my system. That was in my system, now it's out of my system. See you later. Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. <laughs> video. <laughs>